Hi everybody, this is Jen. Um, I've got a new video, I mean a new journal that I just made, um, and this is all about Halloween and um, the dark night where we all like to get scared and excited. So anyway, um, this is a cover. This closure is basically a chain necklace that I bought. It has a regular necklace clasp on it and you can just squeeze the book and the necklace will come off or you can un undo it like you traditionally would um on the first on the cover i've got a raven on top of the face of a moon and just some bits and pieces of um music paper and cheesecloth uh i painted the lace black trying to make it you know kind of Halloween-y. <laughs> I changed my um, thread to a dark purple so that any stitching that I did came out with the purple thread. And on the back I have the raven. And I took some doilies and kind of tore them up so I would have bits and pieces of little, I don't know, lattice -y type things. I was trying to come up with what I thought looked scary or ghoulish or like something that would happen on Halloween. So, the inside cover. Um, actually, I'm very proud of myself because I spent, um, I, I left a lot of journaling space for the first time. Um, I have a lot of trouble with that, but this one is a it's a book, actually. Um, I mean, like, it's a little binder, and I don't know where it came from. I've had it forever, but it had, like, it's like a three-ring binder, kind of, and it had paper that came with it, so I just um, fixed some of the paper to fit in here. Well, I'll quit talking and just show you, because that would be the best thing. Um, these are just some little circles, um, metal things, and I cut out little um, skeleton pictures, and then I put glossy accents on them, and then there's a gear, um, you know, attached to that one. So that's just just extras or whatever. So, first page. Um, we've got a black page. This actually came out of a magazine, and it got really crinkly when I tried to... Um, you know, glue it down, so I just went ahead and sanded all those crinkles, and I thought it turned out kind of cool. Um, this is a little tag I made with a uh, little kind of a scarecrow pumpkin guy, I guess, and I put cheesecloth on it, and then on the back, uh, there's a picture of a bride and groom and a Dremel saw, and, well, they get their heads cut off. <laughs> So, anyway, um, you know, some of this might be a little macabre for some people. Um, it's not your traditional, you know, cute pumpkin thing. Uh, these are Tim Holtz. Uh, they're copies of trick-or-treat sacks from back in the day. Here's just a clock face with, I think that's French on the back or something. I don't know. I thought it was kind of cute. And I took some fabric and um, dyed it with purples and browns and all that stuff and then I just went ahead and and glued it on here for to make the pocket and painted the lace black. So as you can see in the middle this is actually like a little binder came with this in here which is really nice because you can pop this open, change the pages out, add pages to it, you know, and that's kind of cool. You can do all kinds of things. Um this page just has like pattern paper, and then I stuck all these things in here. I made a lot of pockets on the corner here, and uh, then I just stuck all these little homemade tags in the pockets. And this is a little one with a flying witch, and you know, on on my sewing, I went ahead and left the little um, thread that comes off at the end because, I don't know, it looked kind of creepy and I liked it. And here's a paper clip down here that I just tied some weird looking fibers onto. So, <clears throat> on this page, um, I've got, I have some various Halloween quotes throughout the book because I love quotes. This is a picture actually of a, it's a real photo of a real person and then um, I just put the skeleton face over it and 
Um, I would have felt badly about that, but it was just in a bunch of pictures that nobody wanted. So, so I made the bride a little veil, and uh, this is uh, another tag that I made, and uh, just stuck that in here. And then <clears throat> this is what I was talking about with the journaling pages. These are just paper that was in here, but it was kind of thin. So I backed it with cardstock, and then I sewed two of the sheets together. So you have a front page, and then you have the back page. And so there's a lot of space for journaling. I did decorate it a little bit because I can't leave it blank, but, you know, it's not too decorated that you can't, you know, actually do a lot of journaling. And then this is a Tim Holtz page um, where the, it's like embossed with Halloween stuff and then you um, sand over the top of it and it comes out to look like this. And I thought that was kind of cool. So I just left that page with the embossing stuff on it because I liked the way it looked. And here's another page with some torn up doilies. And um, I found it's amazing in music how many words you can find that are kind of creepy or whatever. It says, at this witching hour in darkness, weep. So throughout my book, I have little pieces of paper and little quotes and things related to Halloween stuff. Um, this is another one of, between each one of my regular pages, I have one of these pages with cardstock and journaling paper on it. And this is a little pocket that I made with my stamp and put a couple little tags in here. This also is a Tim Holtz um, little metal embellishment. And there's a big picture of a raven. I did quite a bit of sewing on this um, just because I liked the way the purple thread looked. And this page I just painted black with just regular paint. Uh, here's another bride picture. Hope he doesn't lift the veil before the wedding is done. Um, and this is, again, another journaling page. And the back side of that. Here is another page. This also came with the book. And it has a little pocket here that was already in there. And this is really cool. I just added, you know, paper um, to do with whatever you like and stuck that in the pocket and then we've got the back side of that page and another journaling page and down here we've got a little crazy skeleton guy here's another pocket with a cute pumpkin guy and this I just took a big card of Tim Holtz Halloween stuff and um, turned it into like a, I don't know, it would be like a big journaling card or whatever, and it sticks back in this pocket. Okay, and then we've got the back page of this, and another journaling page, back side of the journaling page. Here's another page where I used fabric and made some of my own tags, and um, stuck them back in here. That's just an old book page. Lots of layers of stuff, as usual. I can't seem to get away from that. I thought this was really cool. I got this on Pinterest. It's a fiddler uh, with a skeleton face. And this is just some paper that's stuck in there for journaling or whatever you want to do with it. And here's a journaling page with pumpkins, back side of that. And here's a page that also has a pocket in it. And um, there's one of those pictures where you see people that cut the eyes out so that they can watch you behind the wall. <laughs> and I did that with that picture. And here's the back side of that page with some trick-or-treaters. And this page actually came, it's like a pocket envelope, and there's stuff in there. And this is the back side of that page with some creepy spiders. And here is the last page of the book. 
Um, and I cut that guy's eye out, too. So, um, and then you have the back of the book. So, this was kind of a longer video than I usually do, but that's it, and I hope you enjoy it. It'll be for sale in my Etsy shop. Thank you, and have a great day. Bye.